recording. Hello, my name is Bryce Tubbs. With me today is my friend who I cannot wait to you know, introduce her story. Her name is Brenda Vander Zanden. Um, she's a life and mindset coach who specializes in helping professional women overcome setbacks, um, own their brilliance, and trust their voice. I'm extremely excited to share this conversation with you guys today. Thank you so much, Brenda. Thank you for inviting me. Excellent. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Excellent. You know, I'm glad that you made time out of your schedule to come and help us out. You know, so everybody has a story. Can you kind of talk about what life was like before you got into coaching and really what was either the catalyst or the events that led up to you getting into this field? Sure. Um, prior to me starting the coaching business, I was a professor and I had been teaching for 11 years. But the setback for me happened with the birth of my twins and the latter stages of the pregnancy and it was from then that i realized that there's so much more that i could be doing in terms of helping women but on a deeper scale and i feel like with the coaching it allows me the opportunity to work with other women who have experienced setback and from a, a place of understanding and personal experience i can help them to kind of move through that and use their previous experience and integrate it in some way to use it as a platform to help them move forward and to regain their strength, their confidence, and all of it. That's nice. Mm -hmm. you know, so can, can, I, can we talk about, so what is the main problem they come with? I think you said something about confidence, but what are the main problems that people are struggling with that come to you? It's feeling like a sense of loss, uh -huh. maybe a sense of fear, fear of failure, feeling like a failure, especially when the setback is unexpected because life happens, you know, and then all of a sudden it's like you just, you fall into a deep hole. How do you get yourself out of that? You feel lost and you need sometimes that person to help you pull out of that situation and to regain your focus and to remember who you were before that happened, but then who you can become after you kind of set your sight on the future, the potential that you still have. Mm -hmm. There's so much opportunity. But it's just a matter of understanding how to integrate your experience with how you want the rest of your story to play out. Mm -hmm. What yeah. are some like, not hidden, but what are some like, not easily thought of things that cause us to really lose ourselves? Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah, that's why it's like not not just not just like things I would expect. Where are some unexpected yeah. versions? Yeah, just unexpected events. Like I said, um, for example, you can have, you can be in a great relationship and then all of a sudden the person that you love so much and you trust so much breaks your heart or decides to leave you. That in and of itself can be a huge setback. So it's not just professionally, but it can be personally as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also with respect to careers, you can have a great career. Everything's looking good on the outside, but if you're really not happy, that can be a setback to you because it's just about your mindset and feeling like you're stuck. You don't know how to get out of it. It's just, it's a trap of uh -huh. sorts, right? Yeah. So the one thing, there's no one thing, but there are many things. There are many factors that can contribute to that. Okay. So you mentioned the fear of failure, which yeah. one do you think? Interesting. So there's a feel of, there's a fear of failure. What about the fear of success? How can people differentiate which one they're struggling with? And, you know, either in either scenarios, how can they overcome that? Um, well, I feel like sometimes the fear of success might be seen as a fear of failure mm -hmm. because you see that there's this potential that you could have, but you don't want to mess up on your way mm -hmm. to getting there. So I feel like it can be kind of misconstrued. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I feel like, um, hmm, that's a really good question. I'm, I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm stuck on that one, but I wouldn't say that it's, it's one and the same. Uh -huh. It's perhaps the idea that it's your fear of one thing as opposed mm -hmm. to it being another. Mm -hmm. If you have success, it's the idea of showing up, being seen, um, having people have access to you, being maybe having more eyes on you and being the center of attention. If that's mm -hmm. not something that makes you feel comfortable, that could be a fear of success in that realm. Mm -hmm. But in terms of fear of failure, it's just the fear of trying to mm -hmm. even put your foot forward, taking the first step. So I would say that that's where the two differ. Mm -hmm. That's cool. 
You know, so let's say that someone watching is struggling with the fear of failure or the fear of change, right? For mm -hmm. lack of a better term. Yeah. What are some things they can do to kind of jumpstart and get started towards? Towards the change or towards the step? Yeah, I was going to let you fill in the blank. I was like, oh, okay. oh, maybe I should okay. fill it in, but I'm going to let you go wherever you want with it. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I would say the first step is to realize or to recognize what it is that's really stopping you from moving forward. Like that's where we have to be really in touch with ourselves and in touch with that thing. Sometimes it could be clouded. Like I said, it could be masked as many different factors that are contributing to the fact that your fear is it's overwhelming you and it's making you feel like you can't move forward. But once you're able to pinpoint what it is and oftentimes there's a root cause to it. So it's just a matter of sitting down with someone and saying, well, asking the right questions to pinpoint exactly what it is. Maybe there was an experience, a past experience that has kind of set the pace for the future. And um, in that respect, it, it prevents you from actually taking steps because you always feel like, well, that one thing impacted me in such a way that every other pattern I have and the way that the, the rest of my life plays out was based on that one incident or one event. Yeah. That's cool. It's a, that awareness factor, you know? So let's say someone is not really in touch and hasn't really pinpointed that yet. Do you have either some exercises or something that they can do to start to really get to know themselves? And mm. Well, I use a lot of meditation, mindfulness practice in my coaching business. And I feel like that's really important. Just being, as you said, aware, self-aware, mm -hmm. being in touch with yourself, being willing to sit with your emotions and to face them. Because I think all too often, it's so easy to get distracted and to find other ways to just kind of ride and coast through life. Mm -hmm. But when you're able to sit still and to really recognize what it is that's going on deep inside, and to also be willing to see the other side of it, because it may not be, the other side of that may not be what you want, <laughs> but you have to be willing to go there if you really want to see the change happen in your life. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with meditation, you know, there's, there's two sides of the coin, you know, the quieting your mind and listening to what's going on as well. Which one do you think is, you know, either more scary or more, more fear inducing? sitting and listening to all the noises inside your head or being alone when you silence them? Um, well, both, because sometimes the fear of facing those emotions is overwhelming and it depends on your history. Like if, if for example, you had PTSD, mm -hmm. if I had a client who had experienced that in the past and they never really dealt with it, then I would say that I would encourage that person to go and seek support because delving into that the crevices of your mind can be a very scary place and if you don't have the resources or the support to help you come out of that and to help you deal with those emotions it can be traumatizing it can be it can lead you to further damage or repercussions as a result and from personal experience with PTSD I know that it's it's huge and I often encourage my clients that if they have experienced it before that they feel like they're at a point where they're at least ready to move forward. But if they're still dealing with the emotions that came with whatever incident had happened or the cause of the trauma, then I would encourage them to continue seeking that support, professional trained support. And then later when they feel like they're ready to just kind of get that push, the nudge they need to move forward, then that's where they can, they should come and see me for sure. You know, that's, that's really why I work with both the uh, psychotherapists and life coaches, because mm. one can help you get to that baseline. Other one, yeah. boom, let's explode. Pushes you forward. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and that, that's kind of why, why we bring people like you on who are very good at helping people, you know, thrive in their life. Um, you know, so what is vision, you know, for you? Either one year, five years, life, mm. however far down you want to go. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, vision for me means at least not having any regrets. Having tried, I've failed at a few <laughs> of my launches and some of the things that I've, I've put out there, but at least I learned from it. So not having regrets, that's huge. That's a huge vision for me. Um, but that's also pertaining to what success means to me is not having regrets. So let's say five years from now, I'd like to have a thriving coaching business. I'd like to 
step away from my teaching profession. Um, but also to be able to use and integrate all of the skills that I learned from 11 years of teaching, uh -huh. but incorporate it so I can set up workshops. I could be doing, uh, starting a podcast or, yeah, I've got a lot of things, a lot of ideas, but one step at a time. <laughs> That's one thing that I know I have to focus on is mm -hmm. just consistency. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cause I mean, five, five years, that's a long time. I mean, cause yeah. if, if you get the right things in place, you could probably do it in another year, probably get, get your goals really quick. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can talk about that later, but yeah, cause you have a very good message and you connect well with people. So I think that's going to be very, very great once you start hitting your stride and really, you know, Thank you. We, might, we might see you on some stages, some big stages hey, pretty soon. You never know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, I, I mean, we do, we, I, I do know as long as you don't stop. Yeah. Right? That's true. Yep. It's true. It's you, don't, true. you don't get there. You don't get on somebody's <laughs> stage. Unstoppable. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, speaking of that, are you, are you working on any special projects like a, a program, a course, um, maybe conference, a book? Um, well, I have spoken at conferences before talking about my personal experience and I would like to continue with that speaking engagements, but I'm also right now looking at starting a video podcast of sorts where, yeah, I will speak one-on-one -on -one with women who have experienced setback of some kind, but showing the triumph mm. that comes, the resilience, um, showing the other side of that. Cause I feel like that's inspirational and aspirational as well for many people. So that is something I'm working on right now. Nice. Yeah. You know, how can people either learn more about you? Where can they go to connect with you? Um, they can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and my website, but it's very consistent. BVZ coaching, <laughs> no matter where you go, you'll find it there. Yeah. So on all three platforms and also LinkedIn as well, obviously. Did you say Zed? Yeah. Oh, okay. Canadian. Yeah. I was, I was like, I was like <laughs> yeah, Zed? You're like, hey, what? <laughs> Wait, yeah. Interesting. Maybe, okay. So it's BVZ coaching. Guys. Yes make sure that you go and connect with her and check her out, you know, and I really appreciate your time doing this interview today. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It was a blast, honestly. Yeah. Blast. I appreciate it. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Let's say um, just, just a bonus, bonus question. So mm -hmm. any, Oh, what is I, one of the biggest takeaways or biggest lessons that you've learned from this um, time of, of slowdown? Mm -hmm. The importance of slowing down ironically, but I'm very much a go-getter. I'm always like, I've got my hands in many pots, but now that I'm at home with my kids, I realize that it's important to be present with them because I feel like there was a lot of time that was lost, lost opportunity because um, I was so focused on working prior to that. And now I have the opportunity to sit with them and to really get to know them, to connect with them. Mm. And I would say it's slowing down. If you have the opportunity to enjoy the moment and to be present, that's huge. It's so beneficial and you can learn a lot about yourself and about others through that. Nice. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Yeah. You now, if you guys are looking for the people watching, if you're looking for people who are constantly trying to improve themselves and helping others do the same, people just like Brenda who are moving forward in their lives, I recommend you go and check out our community um, either above or below the video is going to be a link to it. Basically it's a mastermind. People are coming together, um, joining forces, and inspiring each other to move forward every single day. If that is what you've been searching for during these tough, slow down times, I recommend that you come and join our community by clicking the links on the above or below the video right now. Um, thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed creating it. Feel free to hit that share button so other people can get some benefit as well. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. I'll see you later in the next one. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye. Enter into mm -hmm.